Now, according to this Fox article, this is the best way to protect yourself against identity theft. Now, I won't say that it's the best way. However, it is a way to protect yourself against identity theft. And the reason why I say it's not the best way is because truth be told, you know, your identity can be captured through multiple different facets, not just through your credit report, not just through Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. However, they do have a lot of data as do several other credit reporting agencies. And there are a ton out there, but this is a good start. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for somebody who's going through the credit restoration journey, depending on whether if you're doing it yourself or having somebody to do it for you. So that way you're not blocked from seeing your actual scores or being able to get the proper updates. However, it could be a good tool to use to your advantage. So that way people are not just running your credit, trying to see if you're pre-approved or pre-qualified for certain things and sending you things in the mail. But there are several other credit agencies or credit reporting agencies, and we call those the secondary credit reporting agencies as well. Many people know about the top three Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, but a lot of times they may not know about LexisNexis, Innovus, SageStream, uh, ARS, and there are tons more out there. So you protecting yourself is one of the first line of defenses that you have. Now, I do also recommend you having some type of identity theft protection. That way, if things do happen, you have the ability to sue and recover any damages that have taken place. But protect your credit at all costs because when it comes down to your credit, you know that it is a key piece to the puzzle when it comes to you acquiring certain things. If you need assistance with taking your credit to the next level and strategies on keeping your credit at that level, let me know. I got you. Salute.